The House of Representatives has resolved to investigate the alleged missing 178,459 different arms and ammunition of the Nigeria Police Force in 2019. Hi, welcome to What's Happening. These are the top 10 stories now. At number 10, the police command in Katsina State says it recovered 109 anti-aircraft ammunition and arrested 999 suspects in various operations across the state in 2021. The spokesperson for the Katsina Police Command, Gambo Issa, made this known when he spoke with the news agency of Nigeria. Mr. Issa said the command also recovered various arms and ammunition during the period. He listed some of the arms to include four GPMG, 44 AK-47 rifles, one LAR rifle, one G3 rifle, 20 locally made guns, and 689 rounds of 7.62 mm ammunition. Mr. Issa added that 1,243 domestic animals, including 867 cows, 352 sheep, 24 goats, and one donkey were also recovered. At number nine, the average price of kerosene in Nigeria rose to 6.10% in December 2021. The National Bureau of Statistics disclosed this in a document titled National Household Kerosene Price Watch December 2021. MBS said the price of kerosene increased from 441.06 Naira in November 2021 to 467.97 Naira in December 2021. The document said that the top three states with the highest average price per litre in December 2021 were Eboi, Abia and Ekiti with 687.50 Naira, 585 Naira and 552.08 Naira respectively. At number 8, Vice President Yemi Osibanjo presided over the first 2022 National Economic Council meeting at the Presidential Villa in Abuja on Thursday. NEC is composed of governors of the 36 states of the Federation and Minister of the Federal Capital Territory, Governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria, Ministers and Heads of some federal agencies and departments. A communique is expected to be issued at the end of the meeting, after briefings by relevant government agencies on economic programs of government. The NEC, which meets monthly, is constitutionally empowered to advise the President on economic matters. At number 7, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Namdi Kanu, has debunked reports that he denied being the leader of IPOP while taking his plea at a federal high court in Abuja on Wednesday. According to a statement released on Thursday by Mr. Kanu's lawyer, Ifain Ejofo, titled Oyendu Mazi Kanu, never denied being the leader of IPOP, let the records be set straight. Namdi Kanu never denied being the leader of IPOP while taking his plea but only stoutly denied the fact that IPOP is a terrorist organization and that being its leader is an offense, which position is well informed. According to the lawyer, the clarification became necessary because of what he described as deliberate misrepresentation and falsehood and wrong narratives being perpetuated by some mischief makers and gaining prominence in social media. At number 6, the Federal Road Safety Corps impounded over 11,060 vehicles and booked 20,845 motorists for various traffic violations during its 2021 Operation Zero Tolerance Special Patrol, which commenced on December 15, 2021 and ended on January 15, 2022. Giving an update on the special operation at a briefing in Abuja on Thursday, the Corps Marshal, Dr. Boboye Oyeyemi, attributed the crashes to speed violation, driving under influence of drugs and alcohol, continuous night journey leading to fatigue, dangerous driving, wrongful overtaking, worn out and expired tires, and overloading. During the period, the Corps also recorded 600 crashes, including 4,649 persons, which claimed 327 lives. At number five, the Nigerian Governors Forum plans to engage organized labor unions on the issue of failed subsidy removal. NGF Chairman and Governor of Ekiti State, Kayode Fayemi, made this known while briefing journalists at the end of the forum's meeting on Thursday in Abuja. He said, we shall be engaging the NLC as sub-national leaders and with a view to ensure that the outcome of our engagement will also be fed into the national discourse. Mr. Fayemi explained, that the 36 governors met and discussed issues of national importance, including the removal of the subsidy and the Electoral Amendment Bill. At number four, former Governor of Lagos State and 2023 presidential aspirant Bola Ahmed Tinubu has apologized for suggesting to a delegation of all progressive congresswomen 
that their permanent voters' cards may have expired. Tinubu, who is the national leader of the APC, gave the apology in a statement by his media aide, Tunde Raman, on Thursday in Lagos State. Recall that while addressing a delegation of women from Lagos at the APC's Women Conference in Abuja on Tuesday, Mr. Tinubu asked them to check the status of their PVCs to be sure they are not expired. The statement released on Thursday, however, explained that Mr. Tinubu used the word expire instead of saying the cards may have to be updated or revalidated. At number three, former head of state, General Abdul Salami Abubakar, has warned against an increase in fuel price. The former general who spoke at the 19th Daily Trust Dialogue in Abuja on Thursday said an increase in fuel price would push millions of Nigerians into poverty. Abubakar's statement came after the National Economic Council recommended that fuel price be pegged at 302 naira per litre. The former head of state said, there is a continuous rise in the prices of food items beyond the reach of many Nigerians. On top of all this, fuel prices are expected to rise significantly in the coming months as announced last November. We all know that when this happens, it will push many millions of Nigerians into poverty. At number two, President Muhammad Buhari has arrived in Kaduna State for a two-day official visit. The president arrived in Kaduna on Thursday morning. Mr. Buhari flew in from Banjul, the Gambia, where he attended the inauguration of President Adam Abaru for second term in office. The president was received in Kaduna by Governor Naseo El Rufai and other top government officials. He is expected to commission some projects executed by the Governor El Rufai's administration in Kaduna, Zaria and Kafanchan on Thursday and Friday. Finally, at number one, the House of Representatives has resolved to investigate the alleged missing 178,000 459 different arms and ammunition of the Nigeria Police Force in 2019. The resolution followed the adoption of a motion on matters of urgent public importance by the Deputy Minority Leader Toby Okechuku at the plenary on Thursday. Recall that an Auditor General of the Federation's report had alleged that no fewer than 178,459 different arms and ammunition of the Nigeria Police Force have not been accounted for in 2019. Deliberating on the motion on Thursday, the House called on the Inspector General of Police to take urgent actions to apprehend those culpable for the depletion of the armory of the Nigeria Police Force. It mandated its Committee on Police Affairs to investigate and report back to the House within a month. Always remember to wear your mask, wash your hands and stay safe. That's all for today. See you next time on What's Happening.